Hi and welcome to Sketching the World with me, Kat. Today I want to show you some of the art books that I really love that I use for inspiration. I really love watching other people's videos about their favourite books, so I thought I'd show you some of mine today. The first one is called Sometimes I Think, Sometimes I Am. I found out about this through Helen Wells's YouTube channel. She has a fantastic YouTube channel and she was talking about this book and I just loved it so I grabbed a copy. It's just such an amazing book like the artist is Sarah Benelli and I just love how she uses all this found material the sketch pictures are just amazing she uses lots of quotes lots of writing in her artwork and this like accounting paper Lots of different techniques and styles. Well, lots of different techniques. And yeah, just amazing, amazing artworks. Really makes me want to. Yeah, just get some old, some different kinds of sketching paper and just play around with it. It's got this little insert book as well. Colour in a picture is like enthusiasm in life. to think about in the artwork she makes color like features follow the changes of emotions really one of those books that you could just spend hours and hours looking through. Reading all the quotes, seeing the artwork she's created to go with the quotes. I really love this old paper. So yeah, that's sometimes I think, sometimes I am. Gorgeous book. Watercolour techniques and tutorials for the complete beginner. I really love Paul Clark's YouTube channel. He's a real master of watercolour. And so I grabbed his book, I haven't actually used it much, but now I'm getting into a real watercolour phase. I should actually go through it and even if I don't follow the tutorials, just picking up tips on how he does things. I really like seeing how other people create watercolour because not even so much the, well, the techniques they use are important and it's really um, good to see how other people do things but also how 
they take a reference a picture or scene from real life and break that down how to start with like well obviously starting with the drawing but then what washes where they put the color first how they build up layers of color and to me that's something I struggle with a bit so I only like seeing how someone else how other artists dissect a scene and how they work out how to put that together on paper sort of a whole thought process before you even start your painting yeah there's a lot of little exercises in this His YouTube channel is really worth watching. He's a really funny guy. Not just a great watercolour painter, but yeah, he's really funny. <laughs> and there's always something that I pick up every time I watch his um, channel. So, yeah, we're spending a bit more time with this book. Over the next month or so as I'm focusing on my watercolour. The next book, this is one I really love. I did a um, online workshop. There's a series of online workshops by the London Drawing Group focusing on feminist art and female artists. And one of the sessions in that was on Hilma Acklin. Um, she's a really fascinating woman. And so I grabbed this book. Of her artwork just amazes me like this is um 1895 so end of the 18th century she was working and the kind of things she was doing were just amazing for the time I mean it's just amazing looking at women artists from that period and earlier because the world wasn't very open for women artists um, until art materials start becoming mass produced women couldn't even buy art materials that kind of makes me die a little bit inside I can't even imagine that oh you're a woman you aren't allowed to buy art materials how even does that work and yeah she was very into spiritualism which I guess was common around that time so like seances and trying to connect with the other side and doing things like automatic writing automatic painting and getting in touch with sort of spirits and kind of strange strange things <laughs> I think it's also interesting when you look at women artists in those times and you sort of think, well, these women could only actually do art because they had a very privileged life, a very privileged background, obviously had parents who were rich enough to um, let them follow their dreams. I guess that's still a thing today, but also not being pressured into having to marry and following that sort of traditional path it makes you wonder how many other women could have achieved great things if only they had been allowed to have a little bit of freedom <laughs> not women from working class backgrounds or women from very conservative backgrounds you had no chance of a career in art, that's for sure, and no chance of even thinking about it. I guess there were alternative paths for women, a lot of women, I guess, put their creativity into doing crafts for the home, like quilting or other knitting, crocheting, and 
yeah, those kind of home crafts, which have always been, I guess, looked down on as not being fine art. But it's still quite amazing. But yeah, this book's got some beautiful artwork, a lot of reading in it that I haven't even started on. I need to curl up sometime and just really get stuck in to this book and learn a lot more about the art of Hilma F. Clint for a lot more thinking behind the art. Okay, next up. This is my sister's book. I bought it for her birthday last year, I think it was, or the year before. And but I borrowed a lot. Not only is this a wonderful book, it is also fantastic for putting on the scanner. If you're scanning stuff, it's fantastic for sitting on top of the scanner. It's such a heavyweight book, so it really presses the scanner lid down. So, double duty. But yeah, this is just the ultimate visual guide to everything on Earth, literally. Like, if you want to sketch animals or sketch anything, rocks, scissors, paper. <laughs> Not rocks, this is paper, but rocks, plants, animals. I think it's great too, even though, you know, we can get a lot of resources online now. You can go on the internet and find references of just about anything. This is a great starting point. Like, if you sort of don't know where to start, if you don't know what to, you're looking for, you can't find it. So, yeah, just going through this and sort of thinking, oh, I really like this kind of plant, the hop. Hmm, it's quite a good plant. Yeah, I really like this plant. I want to see more of it. So you've actually got a reference to start from, to start expanding your search. Thanks. Fungi lichens. Just amazes me how many kinds of plants, animals and things there are in this world. aquarium sometime and do some sketching there. I should do it. I've never been to the local aquarium. That's one of those things I've always wanted to do and always put off put off doing but I must do it. I love seahorses. But yeah this is an absolutely fantastic reference. And I'm glad I bought it for my sister so that I can use it too. <laughs> Ooh, see you later.
so yeah if you're looking for a great reference book to start on drawing natural stuff this is the book it's got everything and beautiful beautiful photos last but not least i showed this a few months ago in one of my monthly vlogs it's called the real boat illustrated by one of my favorite illustrators victoria semikina and just love the illustrations in this it looks so beautiful just it's so inspiring I really love too that on her Patreon she gave some of the behind the scenes on creating these illustrations. I think this was one of the ones she talked about. And yeah, her process and everything creating these pictures. Which I love. I love knowing about that kind of thing. Again, another book that I could spend hours and hours looking through and studying the illustrations. So, these are my top five top five art inspiration books. What are the books that inspire you when you're creating art? Do you like reading art books? I don't have a lot of books because I am a minimalist. I was traveling for five years before settling down before the pandemic so I don't have a lot of physical things but it is good to have some beautiful books to be able to use for inspiration and motivation to get your art working, your art moving, your art inspired. So thanks for joining me and Please, yeah, comment and let me know what books you love, if you've got a favourite art book. And don't forget to like the video if you're not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll be with you next week with another fun video. Thanks for watching.